Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Panibagong video, panibagong topic na naman ang pag-uusapan natin ngayon. Ito ang application ng ating pinag-aralan tungkol sa rational equations. Makaka-encounter kayo ng iba't ibang klase na, ng problem tungkol sa rational equations. What you will learn? Solve problems involving rational equations. And I want you to think critically and divergently. So let's start. For our first topic, solving problems involving ratio and proportion. So what is a proportion? A proportion is an equation that states that two ratios are equal. To solve a proportion, it is, it is often convenient to use cross multiplication. If A over B equals C over D, then AD equals BC for all real numbers A, B, C, and D where B and D is not equal to zero. So, ang ginawa dito ay pinag-cross multiply lang din where B and D should not be equal to zero because division by zero is not allowed. So, let's have an example. A race can, a race horse can run 540 meters in 30 seconds. At this rate, how long will it take the horse to run a distance of 9 kilometers? We need to understand the problem. So what is being asked by the problem? What are the given? Para makapag-formulate tayo ng equation na ating isosolve. So, let's have the given. We have 540 meters in 30 seconds. Again, a race horse can run 540 meters in 30 seconds. And 9 kilometers in X seconds. So, that is unknown. Because the question is, how long will it take? for 9 kilometers. So, let x the time it takes the horse to travel a distance of 9 kilometers. It takes 30 seconds to run 0.54 kilometers and x seconds to run 9 kilometers. Take note, kailangan po ay congruent or equal yung ating unit. So, since yung isa ay kilometers dun sa ating question at yung given natin ay 540 meters, we need to convert 540 meters into kilometers. So, paano yun? So, that is 100 meters equals to 1 kilometer. Thus, 540 meters equals 0 0.54 kilometers. So, we just move 3 decimal places to the left. Again, I-take note natin yung mga unit. Kailangan po ay parehas. After that, we need to write an equation. So, that is distance over time equals distance over time. So, you have 0 0.54 kilometers over 30 seconds equals 9 kilometers over x seconds. So, inahanap natin yung value ng x. That will answer our question in the problem. So, anong gagawin natin? So, we have here a proportion. So, that is a proportion. It must be equal. So, therefore, we need to have a cross multiplication. So, we need to cross multiply 0 0.54 times x. That is 0 0.54x. And then, 30 times 9, we have... 270 Okay, that is 270 And then next step We need to apply the MPE Or the multiplication property of equality By multiplying by the reciprocal Or we just divide both sides by 0 0.54 And then we can cancel 0 0.54 so, we need to divide 270 divide by 0 0.54. Paano tayo mag-divide ng decimal? So, gawin nating whole number, yung 54. We just move two decimal places to the right. And then, we just add 2, 0. And then, 
pag dinivide 500 seconds. So, kapag kinonvert into uh, minutes, so 8 and 1 third. So, ito yung ating conversion. 60 seconds equals to 1 minute. Therefore, it will take the horse 500 seconds or 8 and 1 third minutes to run a distance of 9 kilometers. Okay, so let us proceed to another topic under solving uh, problems involving rational equation that is solving number problems. So here is our problem. If a certain number is added to the product of 8 and the reciprocal of 3 more than that number, the result is 6. So find the number. So we have here our solution. Let x be the number or the unknown. So, translate natin yung ating problem into a mathematical sentence. So, yung ating verbal sentence should be translated into a mathematical sentence. So, paano natin yung gagawin? So, phrase by phrase. If a certain number, so a certain number is denoted by x, nako ha, is added to. Pag sinabi natin added to, ano ang involved na operation? Addition. So, therefore, plus the product of 8. The product is answer in multiplication. So, therefore, ang info bitong op uh, operation ay times. Product of what? 8 and the reciprocal of 3 more than the number. So, dumo na tayo sa 3 more than the number. Since ang ating number ay x, so therefore, x plus 3. And then, what is the reciprocal of x plus 3? So, we just write 1 as our numerator. That is 1 over x plus 3. So, meaning to say, we need to multiply the 2. The product of 8 and the reciprocal of 3 more than that number. Therefore, that is 8 times 1 over x plus 3. The result is 6. So, therefore, that is equal to 6. Now, we have our equation, x plus 8 over x plus 3 equals to 6. And that is a rational equation that we need to solve or simplify. Paano natin siya gagawin? Remember the steps? First, we need to find the LCD. The LCD is x plus 3 and then we need to multiply each term by the LCD. Since our denominator is x plus 3, so i-multiply natin siya sa x plus 3. x plus 3 times x plus x plus 3 times 8 over x plus 3 equals to 6 times the quantity of 6, sorry, x plus 3. And then we just cancel x plus 3 and then we need to simplify by multiplying. So, do muna tayo sa x plus 3 times x. So, x times x is x squared. Sige, flush muna natin yung answer. x times x is x squared. 3 times x is 3x. Nakuha. Plus 8. Then, do naman tayo sa 6 times the quantity x plus 3. 6 times x is 6x. 6 times 3 is 18. And then, we need to combine like terms by equating it to zero. Lahat ng terms ay ilipat natin sa left side by getting all the additive inverse. Yung 6x magiging negative 6x, yung 18 magiging negative 18 para makakuha tayo ng trinomial na pwede natin i-factor. Again, inequate natin by zero. Lahat ng value na nasa right side na 6x and 18 kinuha ang additive inverse nilipat sa kabila. Then, we need to simplify x squared. Then, 3x minus 6x is negative 3x. 8 minus 10 is negative 10 equals to 0. So, therefore, siya ay trinomial and factorable using GT. The factors are x minus 5 and x plus 2. So, it's not yet our final answer since we're looking for the numbers, not the factors. Okay, so x minus 5, x plus 2 equals to 0. So, ano ang gagawin natin sa factors? Equate each factor by 0. So, we have x minus 5 equals to 0. x equals to positive 5. Then, x plus 2 equals to 0. Then, x equals to negative 2. Thus, the possible solutions are 5 and 
negative 2. Okay, so we have next topic under solving problems in rational equations. We have the distance problems. An Air Force plane flies at a speed that is 30 kilometers per hour faster than a cargo plane. So, mas mabilis daw ang Air Force plane sa cargo plane ng 30 kilometers per hour. The Air Force plane flies 500 kilometers in the amount of time that the cargo plane flies 440 kilometers to find the speed of each plane. Again, we're looking for the speed of the Air Force plane and the speed of the cargo plane. So, let R be the speed of the cargo plane in kilometer per hour and let R plus 30 since it is faster 30 kilometers per hour faster since D equals RT. So, that will be the formula. So, I think familiar kayo dito during your physics class. That is the formula for getting the speed. That is distance equals the rate times the time. We can fill up or the speed times the time. We can fill up the table as follows. So, para mas madali natin masolve yung problem, so we can make a table. So, you have here the kind of plane, air force, and the cargo. So, your D is 500, and for the cargo, you have 440. And for the speed, sa Air Force, that is R plus 30. And for the cargo, you have R. And then, for T equals D over R, you have 500 over R plus 30. And for a cargo, you have 400 over R. So, nilagay lang lang natin lahat ng given. So, since the time for the Air Force plane is equal to the cargo plane, we write 500 plus over R plus 30 equals to 400 over R. So, we can cross multiply. Okay? So, we need to solve the equation. So, 500 R equals to 440 times the quantity R plus 30. So, nag-cross multiply tayo. And then, after that, we need to dis uh, use the distributive property or we need to multiply. So, 500R equals to 440 times R is 440R plus 440 times 30 is 13,200. And then, we need to combine like terms by get getting the additive inverse of 440. So, 500R minus 440R equals to 13,200. And then, we need to subtract. 500R minus 440R is 60R equals to 13,200. And then, apply multiplication property of equality. Divide both sides by 60. Therefore, R equals to 220. Okay? So, I hope na nagets niyo yung ating problem. Therefore, the cargo plane travels at 220 km per hour while the Air Force plane travels at 250 km per hour. So, yun lang yung sum of the problems na related doon sa ating topic. So, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell para updated ka every time na magpo-post tayo ng bagong video tutorial. Again, thank you for watching. God bless you all.